<laughs> okay. This is where it ended up. I see. Hello, guys. <laughs> Man. Oh. I guess we have a mustachio on our candy shop now. Wow. Look at that. Well, how did that come about? Well, guys, this all started with a chair. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It makes no sense on the first glance, right? Oop, let me land here. It all started with this chair. So let's go check it out. Mambo! How's it going? Mambo Mo Muloni. Mambo Muloni. <laughs> double O Spoon. The worst double, double agent and mole in history. <laughs> Look at um, that. I'm also here. And Hi. Ren. Ren, back yeah. from Africa. How was it, my man? Yeah, it was good. Uh, and Ren? Just and Ren? I'm sorry, but you know, right now, this is all about Mambo. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> sorry, Ren, I've wait, taken your limelight. Wait, wait, Mumbo, I need yes. to talk to you. Seriously. Hang on, before you do, before you do, before you do. Yes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, all okay. right, all right, all right, all right. Now we can talk. Seriously, talk to you. Please take a seat there. Wait, hang on. You want me to sit? That uh, that's never a good sign when someone wants you to sit down. No, in general, not. Goodbye. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Um. Mambo. We have a problem. Yeah? What's that? <laughs> oh, the book. Oh. The... Hmm? Yeah, the Mole Orders book. You know, it was... So, I was asked... Yeah, I was asked by, by Team G to mm -hmm. create traps in the middle of the of the playing field and I thought I would share that with you and tell you that I have made the traps so that you wouldn't use them to hopefully, you know, gain your trust and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. And what about bananas? Yeah, the bananas thing was just uh you know, the bananas thing was just I mean, I I, I don't really I don't really know what to say about the whole okay, listen. bananas thing. Honestly, I have a slight suspicion here, Mr. Mustachio. It looks like yeah. your double agent thing is more or less like a triple agent thing because I'm fairly convinced you read it us out when we went in for the raid. Mm. I died shamefully because of you. And that, my friend, is definitely nothing we can accept here in Star Team. You were a placeholder anyways, my friend. Ren Diggity Dog is back in the business. Yes. And... That, yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> listen, you're out. I'm out? Yeah. You, you just kicked me out the team? Yeah. You can, you can run with your G-team buddies anyways, you know? You Get know, wrecked, you, bro. You ratted us out. <laughs> You know, you're building countermeasures against us. We can't have this. Now, you know, it's crunch time. We got team, we need team players. And I'm sorry, I don't want to be too rude, but bro, you're out. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we got to call in Green. There needs to be some negotiations for a handover. Right. I'm not giving you for free. I mean, it's, it's like the draft here. Right, so <laughs> let's see. Green is on. Green, do you have a minute? What is a mustache worth? That's the question. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm honestly, I don't know what to say. I mean, I guess, you know, I know that I haven't been the most useful member of the team, but I never thought it would come to this. I mean, you know, I don't want to want you to feel bad about it. Oh, I yeah. mean, I made the commercial and everything. I made you, I made you guys look, look really good. Really good. It happens good. to the best of us, MJ. It happens to the best of us. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not a problem. Yeah. Look at it like you know. You get just get drafted. You know. You were a useful. You were a useful player on our team for a time being. Yeah. But we're rebuilding now. You know. We, we we did a good we did a good deal. 
Um, I've already so washed kind of like your bed, guys... I've cleaned the linen, I've taken your seat at the table. I'm sorry, MJ. It's it's all over, my dude. I'm but sorry. dude, when you came back from South Africa, I was one of the first guys to chat to you. I was like, I was welcoming you back. It was nice to see you. I never thought, I yeah. never thought that you would be the one to replace me. Listen, my friend, I'm I'm still confused to this day, thanks to your <laughs> attempt at explaining things, and for that, you're fired. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe this. Drafted to the other team. Look, man, see how difficult the other team already is. Oh, Iskal joined. Oh, oh, they don't want to come alone. What's up? See? <laughs> green. Do we need to get deal. battle ready here? No PvP, he says. Oh, okay. I can see I can see Green. Um, Green's hey up guys. above. Oh, hello. Hello, Green. Where are you? Down here in the hole. We had a little invest, you know, investigation going on, and I have a little deal, dude. We have a uh, player okay. in our team. We don't want him anymore. Mumbo, come on, come on, come on. Ren? You don't want Ren? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. No, app apparently it's me. I here. can't believe this. No, why, why wouldn't you want Mumbo on your team? <laughs> dude. The He's moustache said, for one. You know exactly <laughs> what's going minute. on, man. You know it. Um, <laughs> bananas, is it the bananas thing? Bananas. <laughs> Come on, man. No, no, no. Uh, you, you, you can have him, but not for free. I have one demand because technically he's a, he's you know one of our team members, right? You okay, can only... so you're, you're you, you've you've uh, you've been rumbled, Mumba. I'm not really surprised to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I don't even you... know where to stand. Not, <laughs> yeah. not over here. Yep. So <laughs> right, okay, we'll ha we'll have him back. What do you want? Yep, you can have him, but only yep. without his mustachio. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> it has you wouldn't to do go. that to me. That's the source of his power. <laughs> well, we're keeping it. Yep. For the time, as long as the war keeps on going, no mustachio for any war included activities by Mumbo. Oh no. I don't. I can't use the machine like that. No, 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 no. Surely not. You're not. You're not. You're not considering this, are you? Oh, we could really use the manpower. Come on. Uh, there's got to be another way. Diamonds. You want diamonds? Oh, no. Nah. Good. We're good. Mumbo, you're gonna have to take one for the team, buddy. So I have to lose the. Mis can I keep the sunglasses? I think. Yeah, you can keep the sunglasses. Yep. Okay. Well. <sighs> You got a deal? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got a deal. <laughs> All right. Fair we enough. got a deal. <laughs> Whether Mumbo likes it or not, we need him. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think I've got a choice in the matter, to be honest with yeah. you. So, what, okay. so, so I'm now officially a G Team member. Well, not yet. We need to go over to the machine. Oh, yeah, I want to see right. this. <laughs> okay, here we are. The machine. Have you, have you seen this machine, Doc and Ren? No, man. I'm... Nope. I'm intrigued by it. I heard it's the most crazy redstone device we have on here. So it's, it's one it's of the dirtiest like, things I've ever seen. It's like eighty percent magic. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's been a while um, since we've used it actually. I, I guess uh, yeah, it's been actually it's been a long time since this has been used. We don't we don't get actually don't get many customers mainly because last time it was used, Jevin gave us so many diamonds we've not needed to use it ever. Again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we've cashed out. <laughs> uh, all right, Doc. I guess you can uh, do the honors. All Just right. hit the brown button in the middle, All and right. it uh, it will remove his mustache. I'm kind of right. scared. Here we go. Here we go for the third time. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this is the best. <laughs> I hope it still works. Well, that should have worked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> have, a have a look. Take a look at you. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah. really, I forget every time. <laughs> it's, yeah, oh. it's never a good look. Oh my god, I've uh, never seen it in uh. real life. It is glorious. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have seen Green with a moustache. That was one of the worst things ever. I mean, I, yeah, it didn't, it didn't look good on me. Oh, I, I, no. Speaking uh, of that, where's it gone? Um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. It, we don't know where it goes. The machine just relocates it somewhere yeah. on the server. So good luck finding it. And then Mumbo doesn't get it back until it's removed and then pasted back on his face. We've, <laughs> yeah. even, we've even got a machine, I think. You made a machine, right? It just goes... Like, yeah, yeah, just shoots back it straight on. Your face. on. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit painful, but it's, it's quite an industrial unit. But it, it, yeah, it does the trick. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it now. Mumbo is now... No longer a mole. To be fair, I don't think you were much of a mole to begin with. 
No, nope. <laughs> I mean, not yeah. not really. I I must admit, it wasn't the best job role for me. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think I did a single mole task potentially correctly. And now that I've been fired, I Dude. can safely say that I was trying to, you know, sugarcoat everything. <laughs> obviously, I didn't want to. I didn't, you were I didn't not want even... to get the sack. But now, now that I'm out of the job, you were not even uh, ca- able to press a button twice. Come on, man. <laughs> no, don't, don't even talk to me about that. Right? <laughs> uh, well, uh, welcome to the G team, I guess. It's it's Mumbo nice Gumbo. to be here. <laughs> yeah, Gumbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, look, okay. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Ren Dog's just joined Team Star. Okay. Yeah. But Doc, hmm? you might have another mole in your midst because have you noticed what the, what's at the end of his name? Dog. Dog. Have you have you not noticed? E dog. The dog. Dog. G! He's got a G at the end of his name! Oh my god. Really? <gasps> oh, he's leaving! <laughs> he's leaving! <laughs> <Okay, no. laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there's that. <laughs> Lost one, gained one, I would say. You know, I mean, we got Ren now. And, um, yeah. I guess they needed some help with their redstone over there. Not that we have any problems. <laughs> Our traps are waiting to be primed and there's good reason for it, but we will talk about that in a bit. First of all, the chair. Here's the setup we used to interrogate uh, Mumbo, which was hilarious. <laughs> Walked in there cluelessly, had no idea what's going on. Um, you know, Green and I had talked, you know, and said, you do, do that, you know, you can have him. And uh, yeah, Green loved it. And yeah, then we came up with this idea. Okay, wait, I'm I'm gonna build a quick thing for him to spook him out a bit. And then I made this. So I'm gonna show you how to load it and how it actually works. It's pretty cool, pretty clever little design. I hope I have a minecart in here. Yes, I do. Get me some tracks, right? So there you can see the chair, right? It's completely flush, and you can walk around the chair. You can stand on it. You know, you can do whatever. And pretty much nothing will happen so it's pretty cool it's completely flush and safe right so if you want to load it with a minecart we just do something like that you know and then maybe put some whatever redstone source close by so you can give it some power and like that you know whatever you don't need to use a redstone block that's just what i had there and then you just scoot the minecart in like that and um, yeah, it will stay in place perfectly as we have the trapdoors surrounding it. And also, you know, it's very unsuspicious as the trapdoors are really a common design for these chairs, right? With the minecarts. <laughs> I got inspired when I, when I saw it over at our base, right? We've been using kind of the same thing uh, for chairs. And I thought, hmm, maybe that is trapifiable. And yes, indeed it is. So yeah, now if you walk up to it, as I said, nothing will happen. But if you sit in it. We hear the pufferfish pop. Oh, we get poisoned. Um, yeah, for a tiny bit. Why is my hotbar? So we end. Yeah, we end up <laughs> down here. Ouch. And yeah. Oh yeah, there's two minecarts on top of each other now. There's still Mambo's minecart in here. Let's grab that and try to find our way out. Here it is. Okay. Yeah. This is of course the other side. And you know this trick already, right? The central central deprivation chamber with armor stands and we made this easy map by flying into the void right and then yeah you just place him here and yeah make him drop in and if we find the middle here somewhere for the top here it is you can see right up in there there is a, a block that is sitting there and yeah you fall through these fence gates here that are opened and yeah we still can place the uh, armor st- or the yeah item frames on them and for the redstone that is in here, it's actually pretty small design. Um, and um, yeah, we should be a bit familiar with it. That is actually, yeah, the bouncing baddie setup we used um, for several traps already. And yeah, it does exactly what it needs to do. Um, oh, where is, there is a, a map. Oh yeah, we need to get that map back. I don't want to lose the maps. They were a bit, well, I can just copy them now, but. Yeah, let's just try to get it real quick. That's off the map room. It popped out here. Out. Relax. Okay, we just saw the thing triggering. So 
Ow, 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 that's a bit dangerous. So yeah, here the basic bouncing betty setup, right? Um, you have three sticky pistons. Yeah, you just saw him flipping again. Three st uh, sticky pistons on top of each other. Another sticky piston facing upwards. The observer facing that way, right? Upwards pointing into the sky. You can see the arrow pointing up. And then, yeah, pretty much just another observer facing up. This block you need. Repeater on four, observer as an input. And then just have a redstone line for your input here. And whenever this guy gets an update, you know, it will trigger. And yeah, to automatically trigger it, we just have the pufferfish uh, switch. Let me quickly eat something. I don't trust the guy. <laughs> Sitting right next to it, with the only difference being here, you can see. Let's pop him. Right. And yeah, it's uh, uh, positioned in a way that it's literally only triggering if you're riding the minecart, which is really cool in my books. And yeah, sitting in the stair here, right, we have the string and just here is uh, the, where the tripwire hook is attached to. Redstone wire comes out, goes around and comes um, in front of the observer here. And that causes, um, yeah, the trigger. And what it does is pulls out this block here that is beneath the stair. Right? The minecart is sitting on that block, you have to imagine, right? We glitch it into the stair and it's sitting right on there. And if the thing triggers, it quickly pulls it out, minecart falls through, and the pufferfish hits you. As soon as it puffs down, it triggers it again, and, you know, we place it back. And that's, that's how it works. So really easy, and, you know, it was not intended that the pufferfish action actually poisons you when you fall down, but it just happens to be that is a, a little bonus effect. So see, right now it is opened, and if we step away again and give the puffer fish some room, and that's what we do when we fall through. The stair gets placed back up, or the block gets placed back up there, and we could load the thing with a new minecart. Let's just quickly whip that up based on you know some some other trap designs we had, and yeah, it's really unsuspicious and clean, and kind of cool. And I'm thinking, by any means, for now, I mean, hopefully we, we can retrieve our um, our room later, but we should we should just keep this there. You know, somebody will be curious and be like, what is this? And maybe take a seed and yeah, then <laughs> get kicked down into the hole, to the sensory deprivation chamber. I hope, you know, somebody does it. So uh, yeah, yeah, let's let's fix it real quick again, right? Where's our maps and item frames? Yeah, we, I think we only technically broke one item frame, so let's put that back in and get our nice oh, sensory deprivation chamber back. Where we go here, 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 there, and oops. Okay, and honestly, yeah, we should, let's say we, we close all of them and we only leave uh, the middle open. So you still can get in and out, but it's going to be a bit more annoying. So who knows, maybe if there's another confrontation or so, right? Some of it, the other team will take a seat there and then they just <laughs> end up downstairs getting poisoned. Let's block that off a little bit. And also just close this gap here a little bit. Maybe do we have some dirt? Yeah, we should probably hide it. I mean, for now, don't have to go in there. I just hope at some point when this conflict is over, I can recover at least one of the maps because flying over the void always gives me the chills. And yeah, I really don't want to do that too often. But this should be fine, you know? It's just sitting there <laughs> insuspiciously. And hopefully, yeah, one of the other guys thinks it's just there for them to take a seat, you know, and spectate how glorious our base looks. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. The weirdest traps can work. But yeah, it was not actually intended as a real trap, as I said. More or less just made for, for Mumbo to give him a little bit of a, of a hard time when we interrogate him. Talking about um, new things that are all of a sudden popped up here or are gone, you can see where there was the <laughs> mausoleum of Mausolos. Um, in Halicarnassus or at Halicarnassus, one of the seven wonders in the world and just below this rainy cloud 
yeah, there is a little bit of a signage thing going on with heads. And yeah, that also has a very good reason. Welcome, everybody. I have gathered everyone here because this war doesn't seem to have an end in sight. And I'm here to propose a way to finish it, if everybody is interested. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Yes. One on one. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> hear me out first. Before you throw tridents, hear me out first. Well, actually, there's a bit of side information. Um, it turns out, guys, that Mumbo was a mole and um he's now back on our team are you, what? Are you, what are you i doing? am shocked what you may notice that he's um he's missing a vital piece of equipment and that's yeah. part of his punishment for being a mole <laughs> oh my i'm sorry guys you look awful mambo yeah, again weird, man Look, Get on dude, a helmet. Yeah, okay, don't say that. Look, okay, my mustache will feelings. grow back. You are showing no signs of changing that outfit. You've been in that for months. Is this sticking around? <laughs> I've grown to like it. It's a uh, yeah. You know, I've, I've maybe he to just like wants it. to be it's his bad. best dressed at all times. Well, you know, yeah. it, it didn't come That's for the free. Best I hate to see the worst. It didn't come for free, though, guys. Look at our base. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's where it went. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a bit of Mumbo yes. is still on the star team. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I'm still there. Anyway. Spirit, Whose cat is this? And why did it magically appear here? Mine. Leave it alone or I'll hurt you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the an reason that I've got everyone here is because I am going to propose a way to finish this war. And I propose. And here it is. Uh, what? Why? Okay. Why? Yeah, no, just do right? that. No, burning did you their start. Others... <clears throat> no. Okay. no. I was <laughs> misinformed. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, I, I found a note inside my uniform that you gave me, G. I mean, okay. I could have used that. Anyway. Yeah, that... <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. I propose Wait. a capture the flag. I've asked your team to produce three flags for you that represent you. Have you got those? Yes. Yep, here they are. Bring out the flags. Brilliant. Already won. Look I've at also this. I've also got our flags right here. Now the oh so, sorry sorry Mumbo. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, so each team has three flags, and we're going to play this out as a big capture the flag game that lasts over a few days. You'll see on the back wall there a bunch of heads. There are fifteen on each side. Team Star and the G team. And each one of these heads represents a life. Now, if you die while trying to get one of the flags, you have to remove a head and then that's as many lives as you got. So if you hit zero lives, you lose the war. And the other win condition is if you retrieve all three of the opposition's flags, you win. So there's two ways of doing this. You can either go all out PVP or you can try and get the flags. But the primary goal are the flags okay is everyone on board mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay Deal. sounds awesome all right so there's a few rules that we're going to introduce now to make sure that it's kind of an even playing field we're going to not use any elytra during this fight and we're going to only use iron armor just so it's nice and fair ish <laughs> and keep it nice and fun. Now, if you do happen to break any of these rules, like, I don't really, I don't really care. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not a big deal. <laughs> no. It's right, okay. really not a big deal. However, okay, let's try and keep it nice and fun, and hopefully, we'll get all of. I mean, guys, go and grab their flag. They're right there. Go and grab the flags. I was thinking earlier <laughs> that, but I, I assume that wasn't allowed. Let's go. All right. Don't. Everyone can go and hide their flags in their base, and from this point on. You are free to go and grab each other's flags. Is everyone cool? Everyone good on the rules? Sounds good. Yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Yeah, it's sweet. Sure. Okay, I got one of them. I got one of them. No, okay, wait. Give, give it back, <laughs> please. <laughs> no, no. Please. That's, Kill him and that's ours. That's you, ours. You said from this point forward, yeah. and then yeah, we yeah, took yeah. two. Uh, Look, okay. I, I mean, oh, five minutes ceasefire at least. What the oh, heck? Man. It's it's all it's all it's all kicked that, off. Are you guys oh, removing? No. Are you guys I'm, removing? We're uh, down. Uh, a life now? <laughs> man down. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> you took the flag and you died. <laughs> mm, it's a lot of good it stuff. It was my team. own flag, our team flag. <laughs> I didn't touch oh. your flag. <laughs> 
that's not that's not a valid death. No way. No. <laughs> no. 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 It's not. <laughs> all right. All right. It's all right. not. You're cool. Right. Do we get a, get a, do we get a grace? Life. We get a grace period, right? Where's my yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Gentleman rule. I mean, uh. that's personal now, Iskal. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, come, come, at, come at me, bro. Come oh, at me, bro. Man. Yeah. So as you see, time, so essence, right? Technically, we could be raided any time now. So, um, you know, our traps are pretty much ready to go. We did a final preparation down there. And I did that yesterday with false symmetry. So check it out. Man, falsy. <laughs> that mustache Hi. suits you well. <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon if I, if I wore that, it, it would suit me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. A mustache is, is just beautiful on everybody. A mustache is what makes a base great. And we have one now. But we lost Mumbo. We oh, there they are. And, uh, we have a phantom as well. Yeah. Which is going to obviously come, come for me, aren't they? Oh, wait, no, they're coming for you. Yes, it's in. Um, Aha. Nice. Mm. Right, let I me, only oh, one, though. There's another one, yeah. Is there another one? They're I hear some. Did Can you name you... him? No, I didn't. I couldn't see. Wait, F3B. Hmm. Ah, I see his hitbox here. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> nope. That's I think we is. have to scoot the boat a bit. Maybe. Do you want me to dig him down? There we go. Um, I think we can only reach him from below. Digging him down was not a good oh, choice. Really? <laughs> yeah, I want to do good. Sure, for... I swear I named one the other day like this. All right, we can try. Maybe not. Um, oh. Can you try to spam click now um, when I'm blocking the spot? Yeah, he's 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 silenced. Nice. Yeah, okay, right. that works. Do you wanna... Okay, yeah, okay. So what are we doing, guys? Um, well, we're not catching <laughs> phantoms for for the fun. Just for fun. Yeah, that's exactly what we're up to. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Right. I think he will Spin bite around. you once. And then... Yeah, and that's it. Yep. Oh, God. I'm go. Carpet. Immovable force. Oh, that's why there's some missing. Yeah, I forgot uh, about that. <laughs> okay, so we got to go down here, guys. And then around. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Carpets again. Oh, ah, he bit me again. <laughs> Help me. Oh, yeah. Charlie bit me. <laughs> 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 Wait, where do I go down? Yeah. About here, Falsy? Roughly, is that correct? Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to stay outside so that I'm mm. on support. Yeah, just anywhere there, really. All right. To the left of it. Oof. Right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, <laughs> and we're parking them in here. Yeah, in a little room. And yeah, we're gonna park a lot. We're gonna try to catch as many as possible because those are our... Oh God, our guards in here. Um, later, yeah. we will, of course, release them into the yeah what do you call it here the maze <laughs> right <laughs> yeah, yeah the maze we're basically calling it that at this point yeah and they are our watchdogs and they will be around always so whoever comes mm -hmm. in there will have like 10 15 depends how many we can catch phantoms on their butts and it will for sure not be fun yeah. oh yeah so yeah that's what we're gonna do it's gonna take a while but i guess we're gonna <laughs> snag as many as possible so far not it a good is. phantom night right only one no i thought i i thought i'd not slept for ages why have i yeah. only got one phantom i thought you get like four the first night if you haven't slept for ages yeah i mean there can huh, be one to four it's peck spawning but yeah we only got yeah. one spawn attempt now i mean you're in That's open air luck. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have slept, sadly, so, uh, but I'm trying to stay awake now, too, so maybe we can increase the chances. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll get some. Yep. Yeah, there they are, our silenced phantoms. They will have a new home in here, and have good, happy times. Well, so now, somewhere in this maze... We yesterday got together as a team and decided where we gonna hit or hide our capture the flag flags. We all built traps. There might be a lot of duds in here. You might not be able to find a flag wherever you come in here. Um, but for sure it's gonna be tricky. They are hidden in several spots and yeah, we'll see. I mean, we will try to keep an eye on them you know one of us uh, tries to stay on 
um, we might leave um, accounts AFKing here and then you know I will hook up the alarm here I will put some note blocks in that and um, so we can always hear if somebody is uh, coming in here and um, yeah um, we'll be aware so that's pretty much just the alarm you know detection somebody is here and we'll know about it instantly so yeah we could just hope you know if somebody is not on and AFKing they would hear the, uh, and realize the alarm and then we hopefully can, um, on top of our traps, make sure we can uh, try to stop them if they, if, they, if they breach. But yeah, always keep in mind, you know, we're trying to find a real nice middle ground of really, you know, not turning into a full-on faction server, you know, and try to really destroy each other, right? We are trying to have a nice battle here, but fair game, you know what I mean? With good fun. Right, so that is the goal here. So, you know, even if I maybe see them sneaking in, I would probably not try to stop him. Rather want to see see him triggering one of the traps, right, and have some fun with it. And if they get a flag out of it, so be it. As long, you know, as we have some fun and I got them with a trap and we got a good laugh out of it or whatever, you know, I mean. You can't tell what's gonna happen with these traps, right? You can plan ahead and do things, so hopefully all works out the way we imagine it. Well, anyways, guys, that means from now on, everybody on high alert. I'm not asking you to snitch, but bro, if you know they're coming, and you're aware I'm not around, let me know on freaking Twitter, man. <laughs> you know, we gotta stop them. Uh, we have 15 lives, um... Well, for the normal episode, I'll keep on wearing my normal gear, but in case there is an attack, right, and I'm doing something and I'm wearing this gear, I have to rush to the armory and get uh, iron gear. Or, you know, maybe I can also get away with doing uh, the pufferfish gear. I mean, you know, it's almost as squishy. So, as far as I can tell, not really uh, many enchantments should be allowed, you know in a way but we have some leeway you know and that's always way to negotiate maybe we can cheat the system a little bit you know um, but yeah we'll try to play it as fair as possible as Green also mentioned if somebody screws up a little bit don't get too mad also you know it's all meant in good spirit and you know in the heat of the battle people can screw up always keep that in mind but yeah I think things are starting to pick up so yeah, I definitely have to go in um, and make sure all the traps are primed. We got to prime um, the spider trap, the bouncing baddie. I'm not gonna tell you what the trigger for that will be. We gotta prime the Indiana Jones wall trap and we really gotta prime the mumbo jumbo jump scare. And we gotta make sure um, before we prime that, that is the last one we gotta prime um, all our other star team members are done with their work in here we remove the train tracks and so on and i think falsi is um pretty much almost done um, but she asked me um, one of her traps is down here there but she asked me to upgrade it a little bit with some lava trickery i thought about that would work nicely for her setup so yeah we might um do that um tomorrow on a live stream and um yeah get all the traps fired up and then we are good for them to come i have a bit of a nervous feeling in my stomach guys this is it you know we need to get the llama system ready as well i already worked out a prototype so when you know when does when when really when when things really go down maybe it escalates again into a, a bit of a bigger scale conflict but we need to you have the llamas deploy ready right now we could lead them up and somehow get them in there but it would be clunky i worked out a system already i will make this automatic uh, llama deployment system with the llamas hooked up with their gear you guys been suggesting great names so that first step is taken already but that needs to be done asap too so uh, yeah i have the prototype designed that's definitely on the menu in the very next episode for sure so yeah guys things are picking up and I just want to say one more thing we are working on a secret weapon a weapon so powerful they stand no chance they have no clue what it is 
and so you won't until we deploy it and it's gonna crush their spirit and souls and we're gonna be the sole victors of this battle mark my words you will not see this coming and question the reality you live in see you next time I'm out. Bye, guys. Woohoo!